Today we're taking a look at a brand new product. This is the Negative Supply Film Carrier. This is basically a tool designed for people who want to digitize or scan their film using a mirrorless camera or a DSLR, anything like that, rather than using a traditional film scanner. This isn't going to be a walkthrough of that entire process. If you want to learn more about mirrorless or DSLR scanning, I have a couple videos on the channel that I will link down below. Those are way more in-depth and talk about the whole process, whereas this is basically just talking about this one tool and how it kind of works for that workflow. I actually haven't been using this process to digitize my film since early in the year. Um, I've just been sending everything out for processing and scanning to the darkroom just because lack of time, basically. I simply don't have the time that I used to to shoot as much as I am and keep up with all of the scanning and everything myself. So I haven't been doing this process for a while now, and the guys over at Negative Supply, they wanted to send me one of these because they know I've made videos on the process in the past, and they didn't ask for a video or a review or anything like that. They just wanted to send it to me basically just to get feedback. And I was gonna pass on that just because I knew I didn't have much use for it and I didn't want this thing just sitting around whenever I don't actually need it. But then I thought if I can do a video on this and then give it away to one of my YouTube subscribers, then it would be worth it to me. And I went ahead and kind of told them my plan. They agreed to it. So uh, I am gonna be giving this thing away. This is the only reason I'm doing the review. So they're not paying me anything. They're, they've given me this product, which I'm simply just gonna turn around and give to one of you guys anyway. So just take that for what you will. This is just an honest take on this device. So for starters, this is a really well-made and well-designed piece of equipment. The enclosure itself is made out of machined aluminum, and the inside there they have these smooth silicone tensioners that is going to help keep your film nice and secure and straight, but it's also going to help keep it from getting any kind of scratches inside. You have these two arrows on the top that show you where to load the film, which is important just for the safety of the film. You just kind of guide it through here, and once it hits these rollers on the other end, you just simply turn this dial here, and it's going to actually pull the film all the way through from start to finish so in between frames if you take a photo and then just slowly turn this dial here you can easily just get to the next frame nice and precise it's really really well thought out and that's it that's the device it's a film carrier that is all it does you simply load your film in there use this dial and it'll just pull the film all the way through you could actually do this with an entire uncut roll of film as well so if your film just got done drying you can simply take it off the rack throw it in there and then just scan through the entire roll pretty quickly because everything is kind of streamlined and you have this little dial here, which is actually really precise. Um, but yeah, it's a film carrier, that's, that's it. So it doesn't do much, but if you compare it to some of the cheap plastic film carriers that come with a film scanner or even any other third party options, you can immediately tell the difference in terms of just quality. This thing, according to their website, is made to last a lifetime, and I definitely believe that. I mean, you can probably hear this thing is really, really solid. I've scanned a handful of old negatives. These are all old photos I made on Tri-X years ago whenever I was out working with my dad. I'm hoping to put together a book of some sorts with all the photos I made together uh, as we were out there working together all those years. Just something nice in his memory. So I grabbed some of these old photos since I've been kind of gathering all those recently. And you can see the sharpness is great. It keeps the film nice and flat. And you can also get the entire frame when using the device so you don't have to crop in at all, which is pretty nice. Also, I should mention all of these were digitized using the Canon EOS R and the Canon 100mm f2.8 L macro. Now, this isn't their only device. They've also announced the Pro Riser, which is basically a modern copy stand that they're making for this process, which looks really nice and stable. Um, they also have some other things like a 4x5 uh, holder, a slide holder, and they actually just announced they're also doing a 120 version since this is the 35mm version. The 120 version is going to be on Kickstarter starter in January of 2020, so that's right around the corner. So do I recommend the film carrier from Negative Supply? I do, but there's a disclaimer. This device is $329. I'm not saying that this is an overpriced product at all because you're paying for a really high quality machined aluminum device that should last you a lifetime. If you're serious about digitizing your film with a digital camera, then this is an investment into that process without a doubt. But is it absolutely essential to the process? No, you can still digitize your film without buying this device. You can use one of the film carriers that come with a film scanner or you could even DIY something yourself However, whatever you save and not spending this and going with one of those other cheaper routes, 
you're probably gonna pay for that in the long run with you know the headache and some of the flimsiness and maybe not getting the film nice and perfectly flat. It's just sort of a trade-off thing. Uh, if you're just getting started, then I wouldn't recommend going out and buying this because you might not like the workflow at all. In that case, I would say maybe DIY something or use one of those cheap plastic film carriers uh, that come with a film scanner just to try it out and see what you like. Um, if you are absolutely all in on the DSLR mirrorless scanning kind of workflow, then then I could actually see this being worth picking up and some of their other products as well because this is by far the best tool for that kind of job if you need a film carrier. It's just not for everybody because I don't know if everybody is really all in on that workflow. So if you're serious about that workflow, this is a really great product and honestly, you get what you pay for. It should last you a lifetime and be a one-time purchase. It's a really well-made and well-designed product made from people who are actually really passionate about film photography and the future of it in all of its processes, which includes this sort of digital camera digitizing process, which is getting more and more popular. So that's why I'm excited to give this away to one of you guys. All you have to do to be eligible to win the giveaway is just leave a comment on this video and give the video a thumbs up. That's it. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, I will ship this anywhere. So in a couple of weeks, I will pick a random comment at random random comment at random, and I'll pin that comment so the winner will be notified and everybody else can see who won. So if you scroll down in the comments and you see that there's already a pinned comment down there, then clearly there's already a winner and you're from the future. I wonder if I still have a mustache in the future. So if you've been interested in picking one of these up, maybe you'll win this one, but even if you don't, I hope the video was helpful just so that way you can maybe get a better idea as to whether or not this is something that would be right for you and your workflow, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it in the comments down below. Again, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave a comment and like this video. That's it, anywhere in the world, you can win it. So uh, big thanks to the guys over at Negative Supply for being willing to send this out knowing I was just gonna give it away, but uh, I really appreciate that. I like being able to do giveaways any chance I get. So that's it for today. Uh, new videos every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as always, but that's it for today. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.